Hello, welcome back to The Interface. My name's Alex, and today we're looking at how to use an InstaVault charger. This is one of the newer style chargers I've got behind me, and it's got one Chadamo connector and one CCS connector. So you can use most electric cars with it, and you just don't have the Type 2 connector. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to use the charger. There's a contactless card read on the front, and you can also use the InstaVault app and also the Electroverse app from Octopus. So to get started, all you need to do is initiate a charge, whether that be with a contactless card on the side of the charger here, or with the Electroverse app, or with the InstaVault app as well. Next thing to do is open up the charge port on the car you've got. I've got an MG5 here and the charge connector's on the front of the car. And it's got two bungs, one for the Type 2 and then the combo port as well. And then you can plug the connector into the car. If you're using the InstaVault app, the next thing to do is go to the InstaVault app, uh, log in with Face ID, and it will show you the nearby locations. This one is in the Oak Retail Park in Birmingham, and I've got seven out of eight connectors free. So all you need to do is click on charge on the green button and it will display the list of connectors that are free. So on the front of the screen, there'll be a code. It'll say Oak Retail-8, or this one was number seven. And you slide across the, the green slider and it will start charging. So this process is speeded up quite a bit. It did take quite a few minutes to sort of sort itself out and authorize the charging session. Once you have running, you've got the speed there. You've got how much energy is being consumed, the cost. Sometimes you'll see the percentage level of the car, but on this instance, it didn't actually work. So you can click on the top left-hand corner to get back to the charging session. And then we'll now stop the charge. So to stop charging, just click on the stop charge button on the app. You can also do it from the InstaVault charger itself. Uh, on this instance, it did error out and say we're unable to connect to the charging station. Uh, but after a little bit of waiting, it did sort itself out and it didn't seem to have any problems after that. The next thing we're going to look at is the Octopus Electroverse app. Probably one of my favorite systems for getting an EV charged. Simply open the Octopus app and choose the charger that's nearest you. You can then select the connector you want to choose, so the same process as the InstaVault system with the same naming system as well. Simply plug in the car and then you can use the app to start a charge. Some systems use the Octopus Electroverse card, some use the app only, but if it accepts the card, it will work with the Octopus app as well. Some InstaVault chargers, so the ones that are charge point, they use the actual card. The ones that we looked at today, they use the Octopus app only. I'm under the impression that the charger we used for this demo was a bit faulty in terms of reporting its data back to the network because it said on the Octopus app as well, no response from charger. And then a few seconds later, as you can see, it sort of started working immediately. Didn't see any problems with speed on the charger or any other problems apart from that. And then to stop the charger, slide the slider across and it will communicate the cancellation request to the InstaVault charger and then you'll get a receipt through on the Octopus app and then you can go from there. Thanks for watching this video. My name's Alex and we'll see you again next time.